steak and potatoes, Tennessee Islander way. Let's do it. Start off with a cast iron pan. Virgin olive oil. Coat the pan. Yeah, baby. Take some potatoes and cut them thin. Next, we take some pepper. Sprinkle it over them, guys. Don't worry about being a little heavy. It's fine. Next, we take the garlic salt. Give that a little sprinkle over them. Don't worry about being heavy. It's okay. Time to cut some more potatoes. Next, we're going to add some prime rib steak and roast rub. One more layer of potatoes over that. Now get ready. Here's where it gets different. Mix up some garlic butter and about three tablespoons of regular butter. Throw them in the pan. Next, we're gonna take a block of what, what kind of cheese is this? Sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar, we're gonna grind her down. Next, we dump flour into our butter mix. Making a quick roux. Next up, half and half. Going in. Time to go get some rosemary. Oh, would you look at that little baby plant right there? Would you look at that? Oh, oh. Golly. There it goes. Up. Ha ha! Give her a little bath. Let's strip it. Choppy choppy. Put it into the mix. Give her a little swirl. How would you look at that? Here goes a little cheese in there. Bam! Only about half of what you've actually shredded. Look at that. Pour it over your mix. Last step, take the rest of your cheese raw and just pour it over there the best you can. Put it right on there. Look at that. Lots of cheese. Bam! Look at that. I'd say it's time to go make a fire. Next step, let's get a fire going. Let's grab one more log throw in there. There we go. While we're waiting for the fire to brew, let's go brew. I don't care what the women say, log size matters. Now that we got a good little fire going, it's time to focus on the steak. Look, a lot of you guys overcomplicate steak. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do it. We're simply going to hit these with some SPG, salt, pepper, garlic. Here's some homemade garlic salt. Give them a little sprinkle. One more little sprinkle. Give them a flip. Another quick sprinkle. Some pepper on one side. Get it good and heavy. It's not going to hurt it. Give them a flip. And a little more pepper. Last but not least, take some wash your sister sauce and just give it a slight coating. I'd say it's time to go ahead and take potatoes out. Oh man, that looks good, baby. Oh yeah. Out to the fire we go. There's old red. These we're going to cook directly on the flame. Get them puppies boiling for a while. 
Looks like a little storm coming through. Are we gonna make it in time? Golly, I hope so. All right, well, we didn't make it in time. Here comes the rain. I'm gonna go get a lid from inside, cover these puppies up. I think that fire is gonna be okay, though. No horse shit. Wouldn't be an islander if we weren't doing this in the rain. Lid on. Good news is we are under a ton of trees. I'm really not getting that wet. And it is pouring. All right, I spoke too soon. Now I'm getting wet. Poor shit. The fire is still a rolling though. We're good. Come on, scalp potatoes. So I'm sitting in the truck. Fire's still going. Tennessee Islanders, baby. Yeah! Oh my God, now it's pouring. If anyone would like to uh, donate a uh, 10 by 10, that'd be great. It's like the little fire that could. He's really trying to stay alive. Listen to that. It's pouring. Here I am, stuck in the truck. Fire's out. This ain't good. The rain's starting to let up. I wonder if I'm going to be able to salvage this. There's still little embers in there. Let's see what happens. Door won't open. We're gonna let ourselves out of this. Damn. Well, look, we're trying here, damn it. If this isn't worth a like and subscribe, I don't know what is. Holy moly. Yeah, we resorted to going into the garage. Let's just wait. All right, looks like the storm's pretty much ended. I'm gonna try this again. It's still raining, but we're we're gonna get this fire going. I gotta cook this on the fire. Looks like it's about to clear up. All right, as you can hear, thunder's rolling. We're gonna try and keep this fire alive. Move that so I can stuff a cardboard box in there, try and keep it going. Hold on, baby. Threw another log in there just to try and help this thing start blazing again. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's storming. We're going to get this going. We're, we're really close. I mean, it's island cooking yet cooking in my backyard. We're going to make this fire happen. I gotta show you how to cook a good steak. We're back in business, baby. Look at that. Flamage, babe. Oh, we're cooking again. Let's get this puppy rolling, son. We're there, baby. Cooking good. Oh yeah. Big thank you to Carly for bringing me the pot holder. That thing was getting hot. The potatoes are looking amazing. It's looking good. Look at that. All right, potatoes are done. We are on to the steaks. Onto the steaks. Here we go, baby. Just throw them on there. Here comes the rain again. Steaks are cooking good. I'm getting excited, man. I'm ready to eat. Give them a little flip. While they brew, I'll brew. So we're shooting for medium here. I think we got it. Looking good. Steak is done. Bringing it in. Look at those juices. 
Just dripping, son. Wow. Look at that. Look how juicy. So here you go, steak and potatoes. There we go. Potatoes, steak over the open fire. Look, y'all gotta subscribe after everything I've been through. Just saying. There you go. Medium cooked. Let's see how it tastes. Wow. So good. Let's give these potatoes a try. Look, if you've never done this, you need to do it. Subscribe today for more content. Talk to you soon.